Hello, welcome. Let's solve this together. We have the application developer with a new app. And here's the data right here. We've got the weeks, one, two, three, four. And the number of downloads are going up. They want us to write an exponential equation that models this data. So um, I think the best approach right here, it doesn't work out so nicely on the graph and calculator, um, is to look at what we're multiplying by each time. Every time we go up once in the number of weeks, notice that we're multiplying by one and a half every single time. And to figure that out, you can just divide any two of these numbers to see that, oh yeah, four or five divided by 270, that's one and a half. It happens each time. So when we're writing the exponential equation, that is our base. It's 1.5 to the x. But we also need a starting point. And starting is usually thought of as zero, at zero weeks. So one and a half times what is 120? I'll say one and a half times what equals 120. To figure this out, you can divide 120 by one and a half. And that missing number would be 80. So that's our starting point, and this is our equation. If x starts at zero, um, we have an equation that works. So x is zero weeks, we start at 80. x is one week, plug it in here, one and a half to the first power is one and a half times 80, that's 120, and it works for all of these. Use this model to predict uh, what would the developer would expect on the 26th week. Well, in my case, x is the number of weeks, so it's 1.5 um, to the, sorry, 80 times 1.5 to the 26th week. And if you calculate this, you get a big number, 3,030,140. And what they want to know is, would this be use, reasonable to use this model to predict the number of downloads past one year? Well, I would say no. Um, if we look at it after one year, we get 80 times 1.5 uh, to the 53rd, uh, right? There are 52 weeks in a year. You get a really big number here, right? Let's try it out. You get 80 times, I'll do parentheses, 1.5 to the power of 53. So we get 1.7 times e to the 11th, right? So this is about 1.7 times 10 to the 11th. Well, billion is 10 to the 9th, and right now there are only 7 times 10 to the 9th people in the world about, right? So this is two powers of 10 higher. So it's 100 billion, essentially. So it's one, 100, 100 billion, 170 billion downloads. That's what this is saying, this number, if you expand it. So one is seven, followed by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine zeros passed, right? You just move the decimal point 11 places to the right from between one and seven. So did I say that wrong? Let's see. Oh boy. So 10 to the 9th is a billion. So, um, sorry, there would be 10 zeros, not 9. Oh boy, long day. Right, so you can see it's 170 billion downloads. Is this reasonable? I would say it's not. And you can explain that it's not because there aren't so many people on Earth, or it's unreasonable for everyone to download multiple copies of the app. Um, although we don't know what the app is or why they would download it. I think it's unreasonable because the number is just so large. All right, thanks.